By the time I had finished the Qur'an, all the arguments I had against the existence of God, all the premises I had built against his existence, one by one, I saw them falling apart. So by the time I finished the Qur'an, I had no more argument against the existence of God. And the Qur'an is written in a very interesting style. In the beginning, it's, very, it's quite technical. It goes into a lot of specifics, laws and rules and regulations. By the middle, it takes you into stories, beautiful stories, powerful allegories. Towards the end, the emotions of the Qur'an picks up and it like reaches a crescendo and brings it all to this beautiful, powerful bursts of spirituality and eschatology and it all comes together in brilliant, pounding images. And by the time I was getting towards the end of the Qur'an and my atheism began to fade away, I began having these powerful spiritual moments when I felt I was in the presence of this tremendous divine embrace. I remember reading the surah, Wadduha wa Layli Ida Saja Ma Wadaka Rabbuka, you know. When I got to the end of that surah, I cried like a baby for 20 minutes. I didn't even believe in God. And it brought me to tears. And it was whittling away at my atheism. So by the time I was finished with the Quran, I had severe doubts about the non-existence of God.